In this video, we'll be going over a container with most water. So given n non-negative integers, a1 to an, where each represent a point at coordinate i a i. So n, vert n vertical lines are drawn such that two n points of the line i is at i a i, so basically at the top of the vertical line, and also i and 0, which is the bottom of the vertical line. So find two lines which together with the x-axis x -axis forms a container such that container contains the most water. So basically we're trying to find the x-axis which allow us to form a container. So in this case with container these four coordinates. So now for example we are given 186254837 and the largest container we can get is these two. So basically we have a height of this side is 8 and we also have a height of this side 7. So we take the smaller value between the two. So we get 7 as a height. And now we're going to find the width. The width is the current starting index is 1 here. And then the index here is equal to 8. So 8 minus 1, so 7. So the width is equal to 7. So the area is equal to 7 times 7. And we get 49. Now let's go do a dot process. We will first, we will want to start with the vertical lines that will allow us to generate the most water first. The period that we should start out with should be the farthest apart from each other. Because this, this will allow us to maximize our width apart from each other. Then this will allow us to maximize our width. Then this means we can implement a two pointer approach. We will keep track of our current left and right boundaries, which are our vertical lines. We keep track of the indices of the indices of our current right boundaries. So let's denote our left and right boundary. The indices, let, let's denote the indices of our left and right boundary as i and j. So in each of the iteration, in each of the iteration, we will want to find the current area between the two vertical lines. So the area is equal to the minimum value between the heights at the two indices. So height at j, uh, height at i, and then height at j, and then multiply. That means the height, and then we need to multiply by the width. So the width is j minus i. Then after processing, the current two pairs or the current pair, we would want to move the pointer with the shorter height because we want to maintain our max area. So we have to move the shorter height. So let's go do a pseudocode. So we'll create the following variables. So we're going to have i, the current left boundary. So initially zero and j the current right boundary so we're going to initially at the last index so it's height dot length minus one and then also our max which is our max area and then while i is less than j that means we can still generate water in our current container we want to find the area of the current pair find the area or we can say find the area of the current container so we're going to say area is equal to minimum value between height on the left and minimum and height on the right. And then we can multiply by the width. Width is j minus i. And then we're going to update max if area is greater. Then we're gonna um, if if the height on the left is less than the height on the right, we want to move the pointer on the left. So we're gonna increment i 
else, which is a decrement J. And then we can return max. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is go to O of n, where n is the length of the input array. And then we get two pointer approach. And our space complexity is go to O of one. Now let's go over the code. So we'll create three variables, our current left pointer, our right pointer, and our max area. And we're gonna, while we can still generate water in our current container, find the area of the current container so we get the minimum value between the two heights, and then uh, multiply by the width. So the current width is J minus I, and then update max, the current area is greater. And then if the height on the left is less than the height on the right, we're gonna increment I, else we're gonna decrement J. Then we can return max. Let me know if, if you have any questions in the comment section below.